in the aspect of libi halal bikirbi means that he's got an empty heart he's got a clean heart he's got a, a heart that is that that his purpose is to reveal his mercy it's to be kind it's to have patience it's to care it's to love it's to to create to do for for others for the world to reveal godliness inside inside the emptiness so he Yuchal Lida Atidot. He'll have the power to know what will happen in the future. Everyone wants to know what will happen in the future. Today someone came to me and asked me, I have an idea of a business. Can you tell me if it will be successful or not? I don't, even if I would know, I wouldn't tell you. You're going to miss the point of doing, of opening the business, of trying. I'm not saying yes, do it or don't do it. But if Hashem blocked your eyes from seeing it, so there's a purpose for that. The main free choice of a person is to serve Hashem in those twilight zones, in those gray areas that you don't know for sure. If you know for sure, so you don't have free choice. It's clear, I know. So you cannot be rewarded on those things. So Hashem because He wants you to choose, that you will choose life, and you cannot choose when you know it all. So he must take the knowledge from you, the ability to see. So to know futures is something that it's, it's, it's complex. So to who Rabbi is saying that Hashem will give that power to know the future? To a person that his heart is clean. Because if your heart is not clean and you're going to know the future, you're going to twist things because of your desires, because of your will to succeed, because you must have money, you must have success, you don't want that person to hurt you, you're afraid. But when your heart is clean, so all of your will is aimed to Hashem, and you're ready to nullify yourself completely to Him, and you want only what that He wants, so Hashem can tell you also what will happen in the future, and it won't damage you. The reason that he's not telling us the future is because he wants us to have the free choice. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.